Hey Tubers, Mig Mattis Golf with another tips and tricks video and you might be asking yourself what I'm doing uh, stood next to a uh, kennel or a doghouse uh, with a bucket in my hand um, and uh, I can't blame you for thinking that's weird but I'm going to give you a little uh, drill now to um, perfect your pivot. If you've watched some of my other videos you'll notice that that's something I've always struggled with uh, my pivot, I tend to um, lift my arms, get out of my posture, don't really get behind the ball. At one stage, I was even just collapsing my knee and doing this. Um, all kinds of problems. And I, I think it's because when I took up the game, I didn't really learn to pivot correctly, which is one of the most essential parts of the swing. So anyway, I wish I had come up with this little tip I'm going to give you, but I didn't. One of my good friends, Lindsay, uh, told me about this quite a while back, actually. I almost forgot about it. And then uh, just recently, I've been using it uh, with a lot of success. So here we go. If you struggle to figure out what a good pivot is or how your body should move in the backswing, um, then this is a very simple drill uh, to visualize, essentially, what you should be doing to get into those positions. So if I take my golf address like this, and I imagine that this little chimney here on this doghouse is, uh, is a shelf. Imagine you're in a pantry. Imagine you're in a, in, a, in a tight pantry with just, you know, about a yard across or something with shelves on either side. And imagine that when you're in your golf posture, that there's a shelf that is just about shoulder height, maybe even like slightly higher, nothing too crazy, but maybe shoulder height or just slightly higher. And you're gonna take a box or a bucket or something manageable, a ball or something, and you're gonna get into your address posture and all you're gonna do is say to yourself, I'm gonna stick this bucket on this shelf. That's all you're gonna do. Just do that naturally, like you would, okay? like you would if you were in a pantry. That is essentially your backswing position. It's that simple, okay? You've turned behind the ball, you've raised your arms slightly, okay? You're in a good position. You're behind the ball, you're loaded. That's all you need. So um, I don't think it needs explaining more than that. Let's go to the golfing mat and I'll just uh, show you that with a golf club in my hands. All right, so here we are um, at the golfing mat, and uh, I'll just show you those positions really quickly. So I'm holding this, um, I'm holding this grip, this golf club, as if it was that bucket over there, and I got a shelf up here. I'm in a pantry, and all I want to do, plonk, put the butt end of the grip, plonk, right on that shelf. There he is. That's your backswing position. From down the line here, shelf is about here. It's in line with my shoulders, just maybe slightly higher. Put the butt end of the grip on that shelf. Boom, there it is. Boom. Et voila. Easy peasy. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, try that drill. I'm sure it's gonna work wonders for you. It's a very simple mental image uh, that you can use on the course to just get you to pivot correctly each time, okay? Focus on the shelf and just putting an object on the shelf. See you later.